A classic uh, reason is something called telogen effluvium. So if you have a very stressful event, a high fever, or you're very sick, um, or something, something you, get, you have surgery or something very stressful happens, that can send your hair into kind of a shedding cycle. So what happens there is people will be very sick, and then a few months later, they'll notice that all their hair is falling out. Um, if you did nothing, the hair would slowly, slowly restore its balance over many, many, many months. And so in that situation, the treatment is really only needed for about six months or so. That just accelerates that regrowth of hair, and then your body kind of restores its equilibrium. Mm -hmm. um, another type would be androgenetic alopecia, which in a man will make them kind of go bald in a typical pattern. In a woman, will cause more thinning, like generalized thinning. Mm -hmm. And that's a lifelong condition. So if you have that situation, you really do have to use these treatments forever. Um, it's not that things will rebound or anything, but if you stop, you'll go back to where you would have been before. Um, so you kind of have to keep using that treatment indefinitely. And sometimes there's overlap. And so sometimes what we do is when people have been regrowing their hair really well and they're six months in, I let them give a trial. I say, you know, you can try stopping it now. You're not going to do yourself any harm. If you, um, if the hair starts falling out again, then this is probably a long-term thing for you. And if it, if it stays, then uh, great. You don't have to keep doing this. We, we, we always want to try to minimize that kind of indefinite medication if we can, but some people do have to use it forever.